Hi, good afternoon. So we are on our way today um, to go to Augusta to the tractor convention there and to see a couple of our um, YouTube inspirations. Uh, so we're going to go there and meet some people, check out some tractors for uh, some future purchases and then hopefully someday and then um, have a really good time. How excited are you to go to the tractor convention? Uh, very excited. It's going to be pretty cool. Get to see some different tractors. Um, I know they're going to have some fun stuff there. Yeah. Might be able to meet some people from YouTube that we watch on yeah. a regular basis. So, yeah. 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 Fellow New England homesteader. Yeah. So, anyway, we're headed out now and we'll see you when we get there. We have arrived at the TYM tractor kind of convention type thing so we're gonna go in and check out all these tractors and dream a little bit about what it would be like to have a tractor on the homestead so <laughs> here we go Ooh, yeah look at that one see like this one here uh-huh you got the three-point hook up on the back look at this that. thing wow that's what you need almost for the driveway. up the pasture. Well, I think you need something more different than that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what you need. I want that. Uh, See that? Yeah. Like the yeah. Well, this is what you need for putting up logs. Yeah. Yeah. Those are our 14 tanks. It's a grapple rake. Mm-hmm. Are you going to take a test drive? I don't know if I'm going to take a test drive, but I do want to kind of take a look around and see what, what is actually uh, feasible. I mean, look at that. That's what I need for a wood chipper. That will take some bigger trees than what we have. Look at this. That's the that's the one you were talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Box weight. Yeah. Wow. You gonna get in one? Yeah. Do you want to? Are you dreaming of all the different ways? I, at least I am. How nice it would be to have a tractor. Oh, yes. It would save our bodies. Oh yeah. These ones are huge. I think these ones are more Are you sure you don't want to test drive one? No. No. Maybe when we actually go to buy one. Yeah. I don't know how much that would lift though. Yeah, it's pretty good. 1300? 1300, huh? That would hey, work. That would work. And what that's, you, would that be, be able to do it on the front end? Or, that's you know? at the pins, right? Yeah, the pins. So, at the pins. I, I, well, you got breakout force and then full lift height. Nobody lifts the full height. It's like, well, why would you run around this? Well, right. right. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, we could. If we it could put be a, fun. I'll, I'll pick a 1,500 pound. Well, you could, right? I pick a 1,500 pound log up with a grapple, put on a saw Yeah, so. that's about that's what we're looking at. Or we're being able to pick or... up a thousand pounds of feed. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. be fine. Yeah. I, I, uh, I mean, it's it's limited to it's limited. Like my 474 will obviously pick up more than this. So you definitely want to size the tractor to what you're doing. Yeah. We have ten and a quarter acres. We just had it logged. Oh. Uh, Looked like a bomb went off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, except they mulched it. 
Oh, nice. They mulched the pasture, ground down the stumps. Oh, nice. Yeah. Which was really nice, but now we need to rake it. Right. They to didn't get, do that prior. It they like, neither. It looked like a, yeah. looked looked like like a, a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. no, they, they were a very good logging company, and they yeah. came out. Sounds like it. Uh, took down the timber we wanted. I need to get your name. Some of it we have on there still for forcing the pasture. And then um, they ground down the stumps and mulch where they could. There were some rocks and stuff that, so they couldn't do certain areas. Yeah, anything, anywhere there were trees that they didn't take, you know, on the trucks and stuff, they just they went through and they just yeah, tied them it's awesome. So um, we're looking for something that will help yeah, grade right. certain areas. We need something that has the ability to have a backhoe on the back because we got to do some trench digging to direct water <laughs> to certain places and away from other. Yeah, and um, then to be able to hoist up a cow when we butcher it, to hoist up a pig. So how much is a cow that will weigh? I don't have it right now, so I can't tell you how much it's Probably around 1,300 pounds. Me, it's, I mean, I love this tractor. It's my favorite tractor. I have this tractor in the 474. But everything you're telling me, I would you're pushing me over there. Yeah. Because you're, you're going to be pushing the very, very edges of this. That's tractor. what I'm concerned about getting a tractor that is too small for so all the needs. Are y'all making a YouTube video? Yes. Yeah. What's your channel? The Conan Tassel Homestead. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right We're new. Yeah. To homesteading and to YouTube. Yeah, wonderful. Well, well, good luck. We all were at one time. We yeah. all were. We all Tony. started with Zero. Hi, Tony. I'm Gloria. I'm, I'm Hank. Hi, so, Hank. Uh, yeah. So, Hamiltonville Hank. Farm. Yeah. Hamilton. Yeah. Okay. Tommy yeah. Tractor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go look at the other one you have there. You're gonna want a cab. Well, I think so because we're in Maine, so yeah. <laughs> like most of the tractoring that gets done well, is in unfavorable. The reason I say that is because I don't have a cab, not because I'm, I'm always in the woods, and so yeah. and we're a hilly, very hilly area. Very. So whenever if the, when you're cab, tractors like these, your cabs out like this. So when you go around like a tree or anything, it's going to oh, yeah. hit. So, so it's better to not have a cab. Then. Well, the door is a thousand bucks. Do you want yeah. a thousand dollar door, <laughs> or do you want to not pay for a thousand dollar door? Right, right. But you're still in Maine. It gets cold. It gets cold. If I was here, I probably would. I would. The, I would be very the, careful. My but. thing is, I eventually would want to get like a snow plow because we were yes. going to need to plow in the winter. So you want a snow plow? Eventually. You, uh, a plow pushing or a, a snowboard? Um, probably push. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Oh, the reason I say this, this doesn't mount for a mid mid mount PTO. Oh. And the, that, like the 3515 over there is mm -hmm. mid mount PTO. Uh, I just, this tractor's got all the, it's got rear remote, it comes with everything. It's just a good tractor for the value of it. And I've had this one 500 hours, and I've never had anything break on it. Is it the one you want? I think so. This one I think would be great for us. I do too. It's not too big, and it would, I mean, it would totally do everything we needed. Yeah. Paisley. Paisley, do you want to sit up in the tractor? What? Do you want to sit in the tractor? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. like it? Mm-hmm. All right. Come on. Are you watching us and listening to music? What? Are you listening to music? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if we had that right there, mm -hmm. that would easily break up all of the debris like from the pasture there, and then we could, we would be able to uh, plant after that. We'd be able yeah. to seed the pasture. Yeah. Oh, I just took a picture. Yeah. Landscape rate. But, man, what a cool little convention. How you doing? Nice to meet you. My husband, Edward. Hello. We've been nice following you. you on YouTube probably for six years. Yep. <laughs> At least, awesome. I think. What is it? Eight. And stuff, so we just love what you guys do. Thank you. Stuff, so we were excited Absolutely. that you were here again this year. You guys local? We are. Awesome. We are. So yeah. we just... Maybe 45 minutes away. Not bad. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah.
So very cool. Thanks for coming out. Not a problem. We enjoy coming here. It's always a fun time meeting everybody. Yeah. So we're brand new to homesteading. Okay. So we've only been homesteading for two years. Have you been in the area? Have you lived here for we always? We lived here for three years. Okay. So, you so we came from Arizona. Wow. Sold everything that we owned. Okay. Bought a travel trailer, moved out to Maine. Yep. And then. Uh, rented a bungalow for a year to see if we liked yep. it uh, we here, and we do. We knew we would, but yep. you know. <laughs> and then we it's bought a, a far, um, kind of a raw homestead, so yeah. like ten and a quarter acres. Yeah. 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 We just cleared um, our land for pasture and stuff like nice. that. So we were watching what you guys did when you were clearing your yep. land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so cool. I love that Very inspiring. Get one. Fantastic yeah. builder. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to some of the stuff that we see out there. <laughs> oh, like, and we're not builders, but we're like, Al did it like this. Maybe we should do it like that. <laughs> I like it. It's disclaimer on the <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> How I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. You don't know by me. <laughs> yeah, but you're thorough and you have um, excellence. How are you doing? Work, so. They're almost all done. Yeah. Yeah. Him last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. Yeah, last Saturday we made sausage for the first time. So, exciting. Yeah. Yep. Big, so, big endeavor to take on. So, congratulations. It is. Yeah. It is. I'm <laughs> getting really scary. We are getting a, um, what do they call like a bone saw, but it's like a machine. Bandsaw. Bandsaw. Yeah. Thank you. I was going to say skill saw, but I'm like, that's not the right saw. Yeah, the meat bandsaw. The meat bandsaw. Um, and we're buying a trailer um, probably next weekend. We have one that we're going to turn into a walk in cooler. Yep. Because. The weather is too unpredictable yep. to be able to let it hang out. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then our first year that we got our homestead, we did a um, hundred meat chickens. <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> we had never butchered a chicken. That's a lot to take off the first time. The first. Time.